Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Skyrim. Where we last left off, we had just fought Alduin. We didn't kill him, he got away. And... I need to talk to someone about his escape. And Parasite Axe is right here, so that's it. Do you mind? I was just... I'll talk to Parson and see what he Lord thinks we Kongrach, can do. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Ni livrach in moro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Alduin always was Pachl. This should shake the loyalty of the Do. Yes, one of his allies could tell so us. We're capture. Perhaps the Meet up or do whatever the one of all the white run, minions dragons reach taking a fine information. place to trap one of Alduin's allies. Hmm? Okay, so it was apparently Dragon Reach and White Run was both the house and caps the dragon, so let's go to Dragon's Reach. Ask our good friend Yell Balgruff. If he's okay with us putting a dragon to his palace. Hey, hey, old Bulga. What is it that you need? Uh, I must have misheard. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. That is Sorry, what I asked. But I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. According to legend, dragon Jarl piece. Olaf one they built say contain the dra dragon, so therefore this would be dragon's fine. name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. What your you want me to let the dragon into the heart of my skull? There must be another way. All do you oh, man. world eater himself? I don't know oh, about man. such things. Let me now do this. what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon? I want to help you, dragon. Oh, freaking general! Do you think they will sit idle while yeah, the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning earlier. my city? No, I can't no, risk leaving the city while about. we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. And getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn, maybe you can stop Alright, back to the Greybeards. I came down from High Vasco into White Run, and now I'm going back up to High Vasco. So I bet you all thought this episode would be called The Fallen. Um, because that was the quest we got at the end of the last episode, but no, this episode is actually going to be season and ending. Um, which, yeah, you know now because that's the name of the episode. Yeah, back when I was recording the Halloween announcement, which came out just the other day, um, the mic actually, like, broke off the headset. It still functions, it's just not, like, secured. I actually have it like taped on right now. So sorry if the audio quality is not quite as good as it normally is. I don't know if it's or not. I'm assuming it's not, but I I assume there'd be some kind of impact, and I doubt it will be positive, so I'm just going on the assumption my voice sounds worse than usual. Not that it sounds too good to begin with. As I said, I do all my recording on like a gaming headset. Where's the exit? I'm trying to get my hands on a like actual microphone that's not a gaming headset, both for the purposes of recording gameplay and music in particular as well. I guess I'll go this way. But um, right now I don't have access to that. Hello, I'm here. Aldrin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. 
What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not... You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have... I see. The dragon will... Partanax has made well, the decision you help to help me make a truce, the Greybeard. Man. So be it. We will see if they still remember us. Okay. Yeah. Stop one. Let's go to Solitude and talk to Zenimatelius. Gold do I have? A fair bit. Maybe I'll see if I can buy any good equipment while I'm here. That's the blacksmith. There he is. Hello. Seems there's no hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your you needs. Got swords. Steel sword. Any armor? What's my current seal? Steel seal. One, two, blades, helmets, pretty much anything. I'm a dwarven helmet, that's 37. So that is a good deal. I will take that. You can take this cultist mask and exchange. The dwarven helmet, I already saw it look so so dumb. Like, look at this. This does not look right. But alas, it is what I look like now. Still might be a step up from that cultist mask to be fair. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm a wanted criminal here. I always forget that. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Yes, Dawn Guard. That that's a very important thing. My men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Right, Helgen, one of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. What do you mean he hasn't reported in? What like you have a chat with escaped a Helgen for like I suspect weeks. These hides, I'm sure you're being I'm imprisoned you. was all a oh, terror. How long is this going to be for? Uh... General stats. General. Um... Base pass, 13. On white yeah, it's been like two weeks. He'd be insane you survived. I've got a good feel. I'm not going to go Wait, through I the don't, normal I process. don't want to join the Legion. I just want to talk to Delia. Matthew from the Greybeard. Delia. What do those... Why? There's nothing to discuss. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight. This is My job about is Skyrim, this is about the world. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just... Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment. But we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Yes, yes. It's not a cause. There we go. It's a rebellion. Okay, Talius is a green to come to the Beast Council. General. The man's going to try. Now I go to Windhelm to I get Ulfric on our side. I have not been to Windhelm yet. Okay, white one stables it is. Hello. I can take. Where do you want to go? According to this, we have been to Windhelm. Oh, did we go to the Windhelm stables but nowhere else? Yes, we went to the Windhelm stables already. So I can fast travel to the Windhelm stables and then move up into Windhelm itself. Okay. So I don't need to worry about buying a carriage ride. Or hiring a carriage, I guess. And buy the carriage. I had no reason to do that. That was Dragonrend. It wasn't even in one of the That was Dragonrend. It wasn't even in one of the course, but I did that because. Windhelm, here we are. You come here where you're not wanted. 
Oh, town, the capital city of racism. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these crazy don't you help guys have fun looking that out. Spare a coin for an old woman, Malone. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind There's heart. There's gold, I guess. The fact that her title is The Unseen and she offers training and pickpocket services make me suspicious of her. I feel like if I hadn't have given her that donation, I would have ended up losing it anyway. Also, also strong clothes. No one so full of that. We've been to something Korean. I remember. You were held in with us. Yes, I was. We have not come to join the war. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Gamma. What does bring you to me? It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They're nothing like this. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the but the political situation is still... Rita, you're the really main aggressor in the political the situation. Are. I can't afford to appear. Like we said it before, I'll say it again, I fully believe that these strong clothes are the evil yeah. faction. It's not like... Star Wars, where it's like, oh, the world the heroic rebellion got a smack to evil empire. That's true. Here, I think the empire is well, actually completely justified in what they're doing. Even and Tully it's the Stormcloaks who are throwing up all the red flags. The Stormcloaks yes. are essentially the Mage Sky and Great Again faction. Okay, both of them are agreed to show up for the meeting. Now I go back to talk to Angier. Why am I running? I can just fast travel. Yeah, I'm not going to run all the way back up to High Roscoe. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I have both of the facts and the others. Oh, you've done it. Men, I should not have agreed to host this concert. Greybeards have but regrets are pointless. Cool, uh, let's go. Greybeards are very stubborn. We got a lot of people here. We got oh the the Salmor, we got Volga of Colias. I assume you're the Yarl of Solitude. Like a Gama Yarl. I guess I'll sit down. Are you waiting for more people? Well, the graveyards have walked in. Is that, is that Delphine behind them? I think that's Delphine, right? Oh, that's Esburn. I assume Delphine's coming. If Esburn's here, I assume Delphine will show up. If there's still one open seat, I think that's her coming right now. If there's still one open seat. Wait, how did you two even find out about this? I assume. Tully has told this lot. I don't know where you two heard about this from. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats. Okay, I hope you're ready for a thrilling episode of political negotiations. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos Hunter. That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time. To get the Dragonborns in. So we just got like the all star roster of Skyrim here, I guess. Beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? Who think that I would sit down at the same table with that Thalmor bitch? Either she walks or I do. Well, I support the Empire, so I'm gonna say what's the harm. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. 
feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe, and nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfred, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Falcon that's burning your bugs and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Yeah, I wonder when they're not really that Then again, besides Alduin, you're probably the antagonist of the main story at least. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be here able to, to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? You see what I mean? Yes. The Empire is just trying to negotiate, not fix the one screaming at them. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. That's me in my I ask that you helmet. all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting here. in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. I guess we maybe if I had a follower Hrothgar. with me, like Lydia or whatever. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is endless. outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure you know what to say here, it's just a bunch of other people talking. Enough. Yes, that'd be entirely what would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Okay, Since now you are starting to sound a little evil. You're, like to hear what you're undermining my point of you being the good guy. Would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threatened Ulfric. The Rifton is south of the Windhelm. Rifton is south of the Stormcloak capital, and Markarth is south of the Imperial capital. We could give them each a relatively similar position. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the He just offered you a deal. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he Never with thought you, I'd say this, but thank you with if me. so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you, you understand the danger? Rising, but Don't you understand everyone what the return in the of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful oh, with every soldier slain. Oh, he's literally eating the dead. Okay, I thought he was being threatening. No, he's you literally eating the dead. For even one moment like the, the souls of the dead, not the corpses. A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's right about Alfred, 
We both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. We offered you sure relatively you similar right. cities. Damn right we do. You surrender for grief to us. Sidgir steps down, and then Gear of Stun resumes the Yalshi. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Yeah, because I'm not fair. I very obviously support the Empire. No, the Empire does not need to give up any more territory. Even the Dragonborn betrays Skyrim. These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Talius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least for the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Wait, isn't Maven the patron of the Sea the Guild? You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice then under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unsla. I you don't know what that means. Notice. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. All right. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragon. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf. There we go. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn plan. Yes, sir. You want to yes. talk to me? You're a macro here. I'm afraid right. there's a, a serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. You mean Person X? All well and good. But did you know that he was Aldrin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. Okay, that's not good. Long in the past, but justice does not count for the passage of death. The blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperor. Justice so the Emperor that protecting him. I think that he's, dead, he's okay. My oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. All right. There so now go. we have an option. This is a completely optional quest. And if we don't do anything, it'll go away after a while. I am going to leave a poll at the very start of this video. I'm going to put it at the start, not the end, just because no one ever watches these things all the way through. In fact, no one's probably even hearing this part right now. If you are, good for you. Um, start a poll whether or not you think we should kill Person X or not. Uh, if people vote yes, then I kill him next episode. If people vote no, then he'll be fine. Your choice, everyone. A person acts just again as the dragon leader of the baby beards. He was friendly to us. Uh, he's a big help, but as Glenn thinks that centuries and or millennia ago, he was a war criminal, and therefore he should die. Like you know, that, that's going to end things off today. Having successfully negotiated peace with the strong folks in Imperial, or temporary peace at least, 
and I will see you all in a couple days. Bye.